Hello, I'm David Keen, historian for the Niles SMA Silent Film Museum. The Miles brothers were pioneering filmmakers. There were four brothers born in Tippecanoe, Ohio. The oldest, Harry Miles, graduated from high school and moved to Cincinnati, Ohio, and started a photography shop. His uh, next brother, Herbert, joined him soon after that. And in 1897, they got a contract to shoot photographs in Cuba. After that contract was finished, they went to Alaska and not only shot still photographs, but also motion pictures for the first time. The Edison Company had been in Alaska shooting footage before that, but the Miles Brothers did a much better job. And they ended up with about 5,000 feet of footage that they showed in a theater that they set up in Seattle, Washington, called the Unique Theater. After showing the footage for several months, business kind of wound down and they went up to Alaska to shoot some more. But by 1902, things were kind of winding down in, in terms of the great activity of the gold rush that had occurred there in 1898. So they went down to San Francisco and set up a shop there. Towards the end of 1902, they started shooting films in San Francisco and became the West Coast outlet for movie production and also renting films in San Francisco and the West Coast. They were actually renting films to theaters from west of the Mississippi into Canada. They also set up a shop in uh, New York in the Biograph building and had an arrangement with Biograph for them to release films through their company. But by the next year, they were becoming independent and doing that on their own. So they were the first company to have bi-coastal offices in New York and San Francisco. In 1905, they got a contract to film the Jimmy Britt battling Nelson boxing match in Colma, California. This bout was supposed to last up to 45 rounds, which was kind of typical in those days. To actually film this boxing match, they modified their cameras, which had been able to shoot about three minutes of film footage with 200 foot magazines, modifying it with 1,000 foot magazines so they could shoot up to 16 minutes on a run. They also bought about 20,000 feet of raw stock film to shoot this match in case it went to the full 45 rounds. For this match, they had three cameras set up on a platform so that they could film continuously and have also a third camera in reserve in case something went wrong with one of the other cameras. As it turned out, the Britt Nelson boxing match only went 18 rounds, so they had footage left over, enough to shoot some other kinds of films. The first film that they used with their special magazines was a trip down Mount Tamalpais in Marin County to shoot this gravity car going from the top of Mount Tamalpais down into Mill Valley. The film that they shot after that was another long footage film called The Trip Down Market Street. They mounted this camera on a cable car and it ran all the way down Market Street to the ferry building and uh, the cable car turntable went around and then shot the whole of Market Street from the other end. This film was shot four days before the San Francisco earthquake on April 14, 1906. The earthquake was on April 18th. But uh, the only way that the trip down Market Street film survived was that it actually got on a train headed east towards their New York office on April 17th, the night before the earthquake occurred. And that's what kept the film from being destroyed at their San Francisco office. By this time, four Miles brothers were working for the company, Harry and Herbert, the two founders, and Earl, who managed the San Francisco office, and Joe Miles, who went back and forth between San Francisco and New York. On that particular night of April 17th, Harry and Joe were on the train back to New York where Herbert already was. And en route, they heard about the earthquake and arranged for the film to travel on to New York. Well, they went back to San Francisco with the film equipment to shoot the aftermath of the fire and earthquake. 
So they were actually kind of ahead of all of the other film companies that were mostly located on the East Coast, getting to San Francisco before the rest. And uh, they shot about 5,000 feet of footage after the earthquake, documenting the earthquake and fire in San Francisco. After that, they rented out the footage and also set up two-hour shows in theaters across the country to show footage before and after the earthquake. After that, they continued making their prize fight films. In 1906, they made another one with uh, Joe Gans and Badley Nelson that actually ran 42 rounds. When it was copyrighted, it was, I think, the longest film made up to that time. That would have been two hours of footage, almost. After that time period, in 1908, the Motion Picture Patents Company was formed, and the Patents Company members were attempting to take control of the business, not only with making films, but also in exhibiting films. And in 1910, they started buying up all of the film exchanges that rented films to theaters and putting them under their control, forcing the ones that uh, they didn't want out of business by refusing to give the films that their patent company members made so that uh, the exchanges had no films to rent out. The Miles Brothers in New York were among the exchanges that were shut out of the business and Herbert Miles tried to continue on as an independent filmmaker and renter, but had a hard time of it. By that time, Harry Miles was dead. He had died January 1st, 1908, from a fall from his seven-story apartment building to the, to the ground. Nobody knew exactly what happened there, whether it was an accident or a deliberate suicide. Herbert believed that it was an accident because Harry was suffering from epilepsy and thought that that's when an accident happened and uh, he fell. There was broken glass at the window of the room of his apartment building, so uh, that's what Herbert thought happened. After that time period, the two Miles Brothers offices kind of separated. Earl continued to run the San Francisco office, and Joe and Herbert did the best that they could on the East Coast with separate businesses. Joe ended up running a film storage company. Herbert, after several different attempts to make motion pictures and have a film stock library of his own, kind of drifted out, the, out of the business. But Earl continued on as a company renting independent films and also making industrial, commercial, and educational films. In December of 1912, Earl filmed an aviation meet at Tanferan Park that also included footage of a groundbreaking ceremony for the Panama Pacific International Exhibition in San Francisco, otherwise known as the San Francisco World's Fair of 1915. and also on a reel with the aviation footage and the groundbreaking ceremonies with some footage of ice skating. Nobody knows at this point where that footage was taken. Hopefully that can be figured out. The aviation meet at Tamfran provided some interesting footage of Lincoln Beachy racing a race car around Tanfrant Park. And there's also footage of a parachute jump. Earl Miles continued to run the Miles Brothers office with his wife Harriet into the 1920s and retired in the late 1920s. For a long time, they had an office at 790 Turk Street, but then moved to a, an office on Mission Street where they ran their business all through the 1920s. Both of those buildings are gone, and the studio that they built at 1139 Market Street was destroyed in the 1906 earthquake. But the Miles Brothers were one of those pioneering film companies that unfortunately had been forgotten over the years, but as footage that they shot is rediscovered, we hope that the Miles Brothers will be remembered a little bit more. <laughs>